Hey guys, welcome back to Bruce Panther's Adventures. I'm going to be kind of jumping into part two of the Dirty Old Sportster project, showing you a little bit of what I've done so far, where we're at. Not a hell of a long way since part one, but it's been stripped down and looking a little bit better. Uh, I've kind of had a few more ideas about where we're going to go. All I can ask is, if you're watching this video and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It's going to be there somewhere. There, there, there. In this general area. But yeah, subscribe and like the video. It's much appreciated. And the more I can build up this channel, the more it gives me... It's like the flies keep on going and giving me more. Also, remember last time we did a video about my DMD Vintage? Well, I got a little... A little accessory for my DMD vintage. Look at that. Bubble shield, baby. Old school, sexy, futuristic. <laughs> Got this bad boy from my boy, Stormfront Motorcycles. Uh, he's on Instagram. Check it out, I'm gonna put you a little link to his IG just so you can go and check that out. You can't click it, but you can memorize it and go and look at it. He sells loads of cool vintage gear, bits and pieces, stuff like this, bubble visors, patches, old school helmets, you name it. My boy at Stormfront Motorcycle got it! So as you can see, dirty old sporty is looking pretty bare of any wires or any kind of like bits and pieces cables. I've removed the whole loom. Um, got the whole loom put back on externally to kind of check out whether it works. I'm gonna put a little video up now. long but it proves that I actually got the engine running it sounded epic in the video doesn't do it justice the sound was the bass was just incredible obviously that's because it, the exhaust was kind of not put on completely properly and it you know the, the ends went on but still you can tell like an 883 from the 1989 compared to an 883 which is kind of coming out of the newer bikes so it's totally sound very different I think a lot of it's due to the kind of like emissions and just regulations back then were nothing like they are now so it's a lot more it seems so much rawer power but there's a few issues with this bike uh, one of the issues being that there's a big pool of oil I keep finding I filled up the oil tank and uh, I keep finding a pool of oil near the front so I'm not too sure whether we've got a gasket kind of gone or whether it's something really easily fixed like a simple like a tube which isn't on properly or do I've put too much oil in, or it's just the it's what I think they call wet sumping, where it is oil sitting on the bottom and it's coming through where it hasn't been used for a long time. I don't know, there's loads of stuff. So what I'm gonna to do today is try and give it a clean underneath and get to the bottom of where this leak's coming from, because it may not be where I think it is. And apparently sometimes where the puddle is isn't always where the oil is coming from, because obviously the oil will always move to the lowest point of gravity on the bike. So today's more of an investigation session for me and just a little chat about what I plan to do on the bike in future. So, you know, into the winter. It's going to be a winter project. Let's have a look. What I am finding is, I don't know if you can see in here, two seconds, the engine casing. You see that little seam? It just seems to be like a few mil off, like offset. There actually isn't any more oil. From yesterday since I started it so I don't know if maybe it, it hasn't it sort of moved it around the sun but I wonder if that would be problematic this little offset kind of I wonder if that does need to be taken off and regasket and set so it's nice and flush but it just seems a little bit I don't know you see that might just be me maybe that's what everyone's bikes like let me know if your bike is also like that this is an 89, so anything between, I guess, 83 to 90, I think they're all the same. Uh, 
I don't know. <sighs> kind of like Blair Witch Project. Ooh. Yeah, she does run, which is epic. And it's just really where to go with it from here. This is the thing. It's do I chop that bad boy off and make it a rigid and go round down the chopper kind of vibe, or I don't know. I'm really not too sure. I don't know if to clean it up and just get it back to a nice kind of a bike. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm not too sure. Maybe give me some suggestions, but chopper keeps coming into my head. And then everyone who has it doesn't ride choppers says don't do it, it'll kill you, ruin your back. I don't know. You know, who wants to be sensible? Do you feel lucky? Hmm? Well do you? Will you get real clean? Clean it, clean it! Use the power of polishing!